Hello everybody, Spooky Weegin here. Back with another video. I got my uh, new computer set up and everything. Still working out the bugs on it. I need to get a new GPU for it so I can, you know, start doing some gameplay and stuff. But back with another video. Uh, this intro is really crappy, but we're going to be watching One Man, One Woman by some Jehovah's Witness. Let's get started. Okay, first we got ourselves this little girl here. She's she's it looks like she's probably either at school or at Sunday school, one of the two. We got a wall full of drawings, and one of them that displeases her is a picture of two moms and one girl. She does not look too happy about it. Look, mom. I drew our family in school today. It looks like your uh, little brother is Slenderman because he has no fucking face. Yes, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, wow. I didn't have time to finish Caleb's face. <laughs> yes, clear, clearly the most fucking topical of jokes. Uh, I don't know. I can't make jokes any better than that. But, you know, fuck it. Carrie drew two mommies. She told me they're married to each other. My teacher says that all that matters is that people love each other and that they're happy. Hmm. Well, which is true. It doesn't matter if you're gay, straight, fucking furry. It doesn't fucking matter as long as it's in the legal bounds of the law. It is okay to love whoever the fuck you want. Even in countries where it's it where it's against the law to be married to the same sex. That's not okay to have those laws. Oh, let me let me get my thing straightened out here. It's okay to love who you want as long as they're not underage <laughs> so if if it's consensual they're they're the right age it doesn't matter if if it's a man a man woman on woman man a woman it doesn't it doesn't fucking matter as long as they are consentful and they love each other it it doesn't matter so what this girl's teacher is saying is true but let's hear what, what what this child's mother is going to say. Well, people have their own ideas about what is right and wrong. But what matters is how Jehovah feels. Yes, the invisible man in the sky that that knows all and shows all, but there's no defining proof that he ex does exist or not exist. I'm pretty sure if he actually existed, we would know by now. As in, 100% of the fucking population would know that this god exists. We would know, if for a fact, if he existed, because of based on all the other shit in the Bible that's, that shows that, oh, well, God was, was very interactive with the planet at that time. Why did he stop now? Why is it when we have all this technology and all this stuff, he doesn't, you know, interact with us anymore? That makes no fucking sense. I'm pretty sure that if he was real, he would still be interacting with us to this day in the most absurd of ways, not like... Back then, it was like, oh, yeah, he, what, are, what are some of the stories? Like, fucking, he flooded the entire planet at one point and killed everyone except for two of each animal or in that small family. I can't remember entirely because I don't fucking read it. Or um, a bunch of other different stories and shit. That These are like those big, bold events and stuff. It's it, They don't happen anymore. If he was around, I'm pretty sure that they would still happen, especially when they're needed in this day and age, especially with the amount of people going back and forth against each other. Uh, the Middle East is in a chaotic state right now. Uh, America is split in half, pretty much. It is split straight in half. Everywhere, there's shit going down everywhere. I'm pretty sure if he, would re if he was real, he would intervene at some point now. 
but no, no, we ain't getting shit from him. He wants us to be happy. And okay, so, so this space dude wants us all to be happy. Well then, why wouldn't he make it easier to be happy? He knows how we can be happiest. That's why he invented marriage the way he did. You mean one man and one woman? Okay, so marriage, one man, one woman. So at this point, why, how come I see a lot of marriages that are unhappy because of a man and a woman being together? Like my own parents, they were not happy together. <laughs> I know this because I heard them fight every single day, and my dad ended up becoming a gay man. And, well, he still gets in fights with relations and stuff before, but when he found the one who ended up dying later, but he was truly happy, and I knew that he was happy, and everyone else was happy too because they were happy and stuff. Like, of course, they had a little bickering every now and then, but they were for each other. Not any other relationship has been the same with him. And this was with him with another man. So with this logic, you have to have a woman to be happy. That doesn't make any fucking sense. If you don't like a woman, or if you're not attracted to women, you shouldn't have to be with a woman for you don't you don't you shouldn't be you shouldn't be forced into this little man woman thing the, in this day and age there's the population is already fine without having to have every single couple be together like back in the day it's like okay man woman it made sense to be together because you could re you could reproduce and it made the population grow well at this point we're already a huge enough population we don't need more <laughs> It'd be we'd be totally fine if all the gay people just stayed in their stayed with with what whoever they want and our population would be fine. It would be perfectly fine because the amount of straights completely outweigh the number of homosexuals. We would be completely fine. So I don't understand why religion has to hammer in so hard that you have to be 100% straight and follow God to get into heaven when it shouldn't fucking matter at this point. We are at a time and place where we don't need to be straight anymore. <laughs> I mean, like, of course, if the population became 100% gay, uh, yeah, that would be a bit of an issue because then no one, well, I'm pretty sure some people would still, you know, like, oh, it would go out and get uh, uh, an opposite sex to have children and then bring them back into the family, which is kind of what my f father did at, because, but he did it through manipulation and not being a, he did it by being an asshole, but okay, I'm, an, I'm now rambling, but, uh, but seriously, why why do relig religion, why do religious people have to hammer this in so hard? Like we got, Mus we have a good majority of Muslims that hate and want to kill homosexuals. We have Christians beating the Bible up against the heads of gay people all the time, and it's fucking retarded. I mean, why can't people be allowed to do what they want to do? within the legal bounds of the law. Like, it's just so stupid. Exactly. Look at Genesis 127. Jehovah created Adam and Eve, male and female. Then in Okay, well, based on this, it would make sense for them to be together because at this point in time, there was only one man and one woman based in the Bible. So, we needed to grow a population, so of course they would kind of. They don't get to really pick and choose at this point because there isn't really much to choose from. I mean, like Adam could have been a complete asshole and been very abusive, and Eve would still be would still be kind of forced into being with Adam because of this. There's only being two people in the plant on the planet. <laughs> But of course, that's not how you know uh, they act how it actually worked, because evolution and other shit. So it couldn't have started out with two. But this is this is based on a Bible. So, and 
Bible terms, it would make sense for them to be a straight couple and wait until, you know, more and more people, you know, were made and may until it was enough population for there to be enough room for that small percentage of homosexuality. But, you know, at that point, uh, God flooded the world and we had to restart. <laughs> Genesis 2.24, he said that a man will stick to his wife. Le and nowadays, that is not true because there is a lot more divorce nowadays than there ever was. I don't know what the statistic is, but I've been told multiple times that it's rising higher and higher. I don't have internet right now to, you know, check. Hang on, I'm actually going to pull this up. So, in today's day and age, 41% of first marriages end in divorce, 60% of second marriages end in divorce, and 73% of third marriages end in divorce. Yeah, my mom was actually part of all three of those, because she's been, well, technically, she's trying to get divorced the third time. But, s seriously, there's, a, people are not happy with each other anymore. I mean, of course, there's still, there's still those couples that, you know, they'll last until they're like 90 years old and they die together, but, you don't have to be with a man and a woman. There doesn't have to be a man with a woman for them to be happy. It could be a man with a man and they'll be perfectly fine. Cause, uh, or a woman with a woman in this video situation. They would be perfectly fine together. I don't know why Jehovah's Witnesses have to be so hard pressed against them. But, you know, they can go to fucking hell for all I care. Later, Jesus said the same thing. Jehovah's standards haven't changed. It's kind of like going on an airplane. What would happen if someone wanted to bring something on the plane that wasn't allowed? There's a difference between having a, a, a woman having a wife and somebody having a bomb on an airplane. One is a threat to national security and the other one is homosexuality. They're not, they're not the same. They, they, they're not the same. If somebody were to bring a bomb on a plane, that would kill... Uh, how many people are on a plane? Like 300 people. I think that's how many people that can fit on a plane nowadays. Is like 300 people would die if it, if somebody brought a bomb on a plane and blew it up. Okay, there goes 300 people. Um, if I bring, um, okay, let's say I'm gay and I bring my boyfriend on a into uh, what is it heaven or something? Uh, is that going to kill uh 300 people? No. No, it won't. It won't do anything. It's like, oh, eh, you'll be together. Oh, well, it doesn't fucking matter. It's not going to hurt anybody. Why do people think that this is going to hurt anyone? I, it's just so, so bigoted and narrow-minded. I can't go on the trip. Right. It's the same with Jehovah. He wants us to be his friend. and. But he wants you to be his friend's with conditions. I thought God was supposed to be this person who gives unconditional love. 100% unconditional. He doesn't care if you're black, white, gay, straight, whatever. He's unconditional. But no, no, apparently uh, there are a few rules to this, as in you have to believe in him, uh, you know, uh, uh, you have to be straight, you know, uh, save 500 Hail Marys every single fucking day. I don't know. Live in paradise forever. But we. But okay, so to live in paradise, why don't you want to live in paradise with whom you love? To live in paradise without your loved one, what would it really be a paradise? No, no, it wouldn't. You would be like sitting there, like it's like, man, I really miss Sandra. Like, oh my god. <laughs> That's my uh, imitation of a California girl. But seriously, come on. I would not want to go to this so-called paradise if I couldn't bring the person who I loved into paradise with me. I would rather go to fucking hell and be with them than be without them and go to heaven. That's that's literally the most... <sighs> it's just stupid. We have to follow his standards to get there. At Matthew... Yes, we have standards in paradise, as in, you know, you can't be married to a man if you're a man. No, no, no two hot dogs are allowed with each other. Nope. Nope. We're, you're not allowed in here. Just go away. 
Matthew 7, 13 and 14, it talks about the road leading to paradise. To get there, Jehovah says we have to leave some things behind. And that includes your possible husband or wife, if you're in a homosexual couple. So, yeah, okay, just take everything that I'm saying, like, it has to do with husband and wife, as a homosexual husband and wife, okay? Just take that. So, say, if you want to come into uh, this amusement park, you can't have your, you can't bring your significant other or else you will be sent to the really shitty one where everything is boring and has really crappy Wi-Fi. That means anything Jehovah doesn't approve of. Which could possibly be your husband or wife. <laughs> okay, look at this dude. Look at this dude. He's like, mm, let's see. Shall I go to, uh... Sure, it's either, you know, stay with my loved one, you know, hug a kissy, yum, 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 or I go to fucking paradise and party all day. Let's, let's see. Ugh. It's hard decision. It's like, nope. It's like, I ain't gonna stay with you, bitch. I'm just gonna toss you here and go. But I want everyone to get to paradise. So does Jehovah. And you know what? People can change. But you can't really, it's really hard to change your sexuality. Because you can like one thing, and it's she would have to completely rewire your brain for you to like to change what you like. As in, I'm not a neuroscientist, okay? I'm not like the smartest of smarts, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be extremely difficult for someone to change a gay to a straight. Like, they even did, what was it, like, some sort of, like, electroshock therapy, I think that's what it was, and did it work? No. That's why we share his message. So. What yeah, share his message of, no gays allowed, or you go to hell. Can you say to Carrie? Well, I could tell her about the paradise. I could wait, wait, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure that she's talking about the, the, the lesbian's child. Did the child ever come out as being lesbian? No, I don't think so. So why would you tell the child about paradise or animals? And who even brought up the fucking animals? Who who brought the animals in heaven? Like, do we even? Oh, I bumped my mic. Um. But seriously, what the fuck? It's like, did the, the, the girl say that she was gay? No. Uh, her parents are gay. She, can she change how her parents act? No, because she's a fucking child. How, are you, how is you telling her about paradise going to change how her parents act? It's not going to do shit. You can fucking preach and preach as much as you want, but it ain't going to change shit. You tell her about the animals and the resurrection. That's awesome. You will be resurrected if you're not gay, but if you're gay, you'll die permanently. Permadeath. So, let's practice. And page one, do not be gay. Page two, don't smoke a weed. Page three, die. Kill all the gays. <laughs> okay, so that was the uh, Jehovah's Witness uh, anti-gay propaganda thing, Majigger. Which I'm pretty sure this was carried on by multiple people before, but this is this was my take on it. Okay, I'm not the smartest, you know, smarty pants out there. I don't even write a script for this shit. I just react to this. So um, maybe I should probably script something, but I'm too lazy to do so. And also, like, there's no reason for me to do this as long as I'm just entertaining. But anyways, <laughs> uh. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you really care. Um, and I'll see all you peoples later with something else. I don't know. I have a couple videos that I'm trying to work on. Once I get a graphics card in there, I might do gameplay. Uh, or, you know, I might... I, this computer, I'm still working on it. It's I paid 200 bucks to, you know, get it started up and everything. So... Uh, it, it'll be a lot. Like, I know I'm very inconsistent with my videos, but I'm trying. I'm just trying. I don't I don't really know what to do at this point. <laughs> it's like, 
I'm just I'm just you know going around making experimenting with content and stuff, seeing what sticks. My most popular video so far was a fucking uh, one about shooting clothes off women, <laughs> which uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use that gameplay for the background of this or not. Uh, I know I recorded another video for it, but I didn't talk too much because my brother was in because I share a room with my brother now. So yeah, that's gonna affect my content as well. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. If you if you stick around to watch this part, I don't fucking know. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.